Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will see how to calculate pile capacity using SPT value from soil report. Then we will calculate number of pile required under each column. So let's start. This is the Excel for calculating pile capacity using SPT value which we can get from soil report this is the soil report here we can see the factor of safety considered 3.0 we will provide this 3 fs diameter of pile we will use 20 inch so 20 and serial number of borehole 1 now here come to the depth normally 5 feet interval we can get data from soil report see here 5 feet 5 feet 5 feet in meter 1.5 to 3.04 like this so here we will provide SPT value in our excel sheet so from here you can see 0 2 5 9 11 we can get this SPT value from bore log also here we can see this is the bore log here we can see 5 feet SPT value 2 10 feet SPT value 5 15 feet it is 9 11 15 9 6 7 like this so this SPT value we will provide in our excel from here SPT value 0 2 5 9 11 15 I have provided this value or data in this Excel only this value we will give as input and other values we will get as output here is the allowable working load that means pile capacity now we can see here 50 feet it is 30 2 ton for borehole serial number 2 here we can see 2 3 8 13 14 2 3 8 13 14 17 7 9 8 35 up to 60 feet up to 60 we have provided the SPT value if we have more data we can increase the cell like from here we will drag down then we can provide the input and in that case downside this data we can delete and copy this table under finishing cell of the previous table or we can copy these tables to side by side so that we don't need to delete any table like here you can increase this like this here we will just copy series like this this excel sheet I will share below the tutorial in description section from there you can get this excel so now come to here this 50 feet depth the allowable working load or pile capacity is coming 61 ton because of SPT value 30 SPT value that means standard penetration test SPT and from there n value spt n value is the value which is termed as standard penetration resistance during the soil test number of blow is counted as the spt value so higher spt value means more number of blow required to penetrate the bore during the soil test so here we can see 
in 45 feet uh, depth of soil the number of low or SPT value is only 8 and there we have got 27 ton capacity and here at 50 feet it suddenly jump to 30 so here suddenly it will increase the bearing capacity 61 here 50 feet depth in borehole number 2 61 feet and similar way here we can see in boring number 3 in boring number 3 we are in soil report we have got up to 50 feet we did not get 55 feet and 60 feet data here so we will consider up to 50 feet here last one 17 first one 20 as yes, first one 2 so we have provided this value so up to 50 feet 17 SPT value 17 here it is coming 46 ton so among these three borehole we have got lowest one in borehole 1 at 50 feet this is 32 ton so we can consider the single pile capacity or allowable working load on single pile 32 ton now we will calculate the number of pile required under each column this is another excel here we can calculate the number of pile required and we can arrange our pile in pile cap pile distance from s 1 into dia, dia of the pile so 20 inch it should be 1 to 1.25 into dia of pile and pile spacing should be 2.5 into dia of pile to 3.0 into dia of pile this is the range if we consider 2.5 the multiplication factor then it will come 50 inch for 20 inch dia of pile now uh, here we have got 32 ton so from there 32 32 into 2.2 .2. this is the value in keep 70.4 keep this is our capacity of pile total load reaction load 450 keep this here we will put our value we got from our analysis result here we will start from this corner 207 we can take it 208 keep 208 keep and load with pile cap at 10 percent to 20 percent we have added 10 percent so 1.1 we have multiplied number of pile required 4 and the arrangement should be following this dimension minimum pile distance from S 20 inch minimum pile spacing 15 inch here we have done this for 4 pile here you can see the distance A pile 4 feet that means 48 inch here it should be 15 so we will increase this one stress 2 inch and this side also two inches and for the this middle point this one now we can check as distance 
1 feet 7 inch first now we can draw a rectangle and then we can take offset 20 inch like this this one we can change the color Yeah, this is file cap, so we'll choose this one. So this is the file cap with four files. This one we will place here at the middle of our column. Later on, we will adjust uh, our grid lines with dimension. We can delete it now. Here already we have. Now, this come to this column. 336 skip. Here we will put the value 336 skip. Here we need 6 number of file. Here we have six file cap group. This dia file is one fit six inch. So we need to change this one. Make it ten inch radius that will make it twenty inch dia. Okay. Now we can delete this distance minimum distance should be 15 so make it 50 from here copy 50 50 sorry 50 then 100 now we can draw this rectangle offset 20 close yes. now this one we will copy here Now come to this column 304 keep. This need five number of pile. Here is number of pile five. This is 20 inch. Edge distance is 20. and pile to pile distance 15 inch so this is our arrangement for we can make it block 5 pile like this copy this one and paste it here remember that for using pile cap we should have the area or the space like this at least 4 feet 7 inch from the center of column to boundary wall otherwise we, we have to move this edge up to the boundary wall like this in that case we can move our structural column inside the building so that we can 
place our pile cap at the center of column okay in these things we have to consider during design now for the corner column here 185 cube 185 cube 3 3 number of pile required here it should be 20 inch pile this is okay the edge distance will be minimum 20 inch this okay pile distance should be at least 15 so here it is 54 inch so it is more than minimum 50 and if, you, if we take it 3 then it can be 60 so 54 is okay within the range of 50 to 60 inch so this okay now I will copy this one and paste it so in this way we will provide files under all the columns and share all in our structural foundation layout so in the next tutorial for this course we can see how to design pile cap using any suitable software and in between this course we will see different tutorials on different software in few days we will get or we will see Protoy structure 2019 in our channel Decode BD to watch these tutorials on Protoy structure 2019 version Stay tuned with Decode BD. So thanks for watching. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.